welcome to D-Lab Electronics, featuring fine radio repair and fine wine drinking. Here we go. Welcome to D-Lab. In this video, we're going to change out the Johnson Interstage Transformer with a Hammond 124B and see what the difference is in the audio quality. Here we go. So there is the stock interstage transformer that goes between your preamp section and your 807 audio output tubes. This is the replacement, the Hammond 124B, and it will drop right in to the same hole pattern as the original. So changing it out is a pretty seamless operation. But what the question is, what do you gain by putting in this transformer? So I've already repaired the audio section in the Viking 2 and done some very light audio improvements. What we're going to do is transmit with the Viking 2 on 40 meters into a dummy load using the D104 and receiving on a National 300 receiver AM mode. So we'll do that, we'll change the transformer and we'll do it again. Well, if you do a little bit of research on the web about the Johnson Viking 2 and the audio section, you'll find that the Interstage Transformer was actually made by Stancor for Johnson back in the day. And it was built as a communications quality type of transformer, okay? It's not a hi-fi transformer. Whereas the Hammond is. The Hammond Interstage Transformer is used in hi-fi amplifiers. So guys building kits and want to use that type of transformer between their preamp and the output tubes rather than an inverter tube, that is the transformer of choice. So it should have a bolder sound, hopefully some better lows, maybe some better highs. I don't know. That's why we're doing this comparison, all right? So what we're going to do is just talk in the D104 and listen on the NC300. Remember, this is the stock inner stage transformer. Here we go. All right, so this is the stock transformer audio. You can hear it sounds pretty darn good, crystal clear, but like people say, that Johnson just has that communication grade audio. Now let's put in the Hammond and see what that does. There's the new interstage transformer installed. Here's the old one. You can see that the new one is slightly smaller, but of course technology's gotten better, hasn't it? Now. You can see my red lead going up here to the B plus feed and then the blue lead goes up to the audio amplifier tube there, okay? The output leads here, you got two greens and a black. The black is actually the center tab. So you just line that right back up here on the terminals. And you'll notice that they're both green, right? So you may experience a phasing problem. If you do, you can unsolder the greens and flip them. If you don't, you're good to go. We'll find out if that's the case. So we're ready to retest with the Hammond transformer installed. I have not touched any of the settings on the transmitter. The receiver is still on the frequency that the Johnson's on. So here we go. Time to listen to the new interstage transformer. Hello one two. Hello one one, two, three, four. So right off the bat, I notice that there's a lot more lows in the response. The other transformer was more crystal clear and more of a high frequency response. And now we've got a lot more bass response. So this would give the Viking more of a broadcast quality sound on the air. And of course this will vary with the type of microphone that you're using. So one other thing that I need to mention, since we've put in a new interstage transformer and the negative bias goes through that transformer to the 807s to set their idle current, your modulator bias current may change, okay? In this case, it stayed about the same. But in the past, when I've changed some of these, it has changed, right? So check your modulator current and set that back to the specified current, which I think is around 55 milliamps in the Johnson manual. One other thing to cover. If you think you have a phasing problem, there's a real easy way to tell, okay? 
It may not necessarily be your audio. It may be when you're not transmitting at all. So what I've discovered is if the phasing is wrong on that transformer, simply advancing your audio gain will be an indicator. If you get up around seven or eight on this dial and you start seeing modulator current and you can hear a little bit of a hissing sound, you got feedback going on. To take care of that, like I said, you can swap the two green wires underneath or you can swap the two plate caps on the 807s and it will go away. All right, so now you know the secret to getting D-Lab approved audio in your Johnson Viking 2 and that would be the Hammond 124B transformer. On that Hammond transformer, unfortunately it's about $44 for this little guy, but the benefits that you'll receive getting that broadcast audio are well worth it with your Johnson Viking. So what's the wine of the night here in D-Lab Electronics while I'm working on that Johnson Viking 2? It's this Noble Vines 181 made in Lodi, California. I love California wines and this one can be had for under $10 a bottle. Check it out. See you again Terry here at D-Lab.